Shalom, brothers and sisters. Um, I'm coming back at you again. Um, I just, you know, kind of noticed something, you know, as all these, you know, these police shootings seem to be happening in the same, around the same time as, um, if you didn't know, um, you know, this Alton Sterling was shot by the police and we can roll this video, um, and show you this, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people have seen it, but I'm just going to show it again. Sickening, man. It's hard to watch. Now I'm going to stop right there and show you the reaction of this police. He cusses, he, you know, he sounds like he's fucked up, you know. He says fuck, you know, and as the realization like he messed up. So I want you to keep that part in mind because it seems like after Jesse um, said the BET, I want to say was the last name, Jesse Williams. I hope I'm getting it right. Um, after Jesse Williams made the speech on BET, it seemed like all of a sudden this shit went down. Is there some type of connection with this? Is this some type of message, you know, nigger stay in your place? Whatever we do to you, we can do to you. Because it seemed like it's been a domino effect ever since that has happened. Is this some type of message? And if it is so, I got a message for you. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, according to the scriptures, are going to wipe all you so-called devils off the face of the earth. You so-called white people are on borrowed time. And this is basically just the dragon coming after the woman. And the woman that, that represents in the book of Revelation, she gave birth to the 12 tribes of Israel. And that woman represents the nation of Israel and the 12 tribes. And the stars represent the, uh, the 12 tribes if you go in the book of Revelation. And this is the dragon that knows his time is short. This is the devil. It's not no um, imaginary horn figure in the spiritual realm that takes people to hell now there is a spiritual Satan uh, a, there is a spiritual entity Satan that is true with demonic hordes but at the same time this is the devil the devil and Satan are two different entities working hand to hand just like the Most High has the nation of Israel doing his work on the earth spreading the gospel to the elect of the 12 tribes you Negroes Latinos and Native Americans Satan also has an agenda and he uses the Edomites the so-called white man to do his work on the earth and this is the work that he does he's always persecuting the woman Israel and the stuff like this I mean the man was selling CDs I mean to tell me you sell CDs and this is the outcome I don't give a fuck how many times he's been in jail he was selling CDs you had to approach the uh, situation all hostile and guns all out as if the man just robbed robbed the store he was selling in front of shit is fucking hard to watch man to see this man sit and die and that's the end of that video and then i'm going to show you the uh um, like to be in good hands like finding new sorry about to be this. taken care of then, and then i'm going to show you the uh video that um this guy in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. This happens Wednesday um, as well. Check this out. Now I want you to pay attention to the police and what he does. Stay with me. We got pulled over for a busted tail light in the back, and the police just he's 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 covered. He they killed my boyfriend. He's licensed, he's carried to he's licensed to carry. He was trying to get out his ID and his wallet out his um pocket. Now I'm gonna stop. Mind you, she she goes on to say that the officer asked him for the ID and the permit. And he told the officer that he had a gun permit. And he was proceeding to get the um get his wallet out and the fucking cop shot him. What the fuck is that? What is that? This shit is set up, man. And I want you to see the reaction of the cop after this. And he let the officer know that he was, re he had a firearm and he was reaching for his wallet. 
and the officer just shot him in his arm. We're waiting for a back. I will, sir. No worries. I will. Fuck. Now, he says the same thing as a cop in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Oh, fuck! He's acting all sarcastic like he's, you know, like he might have made a mistake, like he might have misjudged. This shit is an act, man. This shit is all set up. And this shit happened right after the Jesse Williams thing. He shot his arm off. We got pulled oh. over on Larpener. I told him not to reach for it. I told him to get his hand off it. He had now he's crying and act like I told him not to reach for it. Motherfucker. Several videos I can pull up of the police asking not only the driver when it concerns a so-called African-American, but also asking the passenger. So that is not too far-fetched to believe that he asked the passenger for his license, especially if the man told him he had a gun. This is fucking bullshit. You told him to get his ID, sir, and his driver's license. Oh, my God, please don't tell me he's dead. Please don't tell me my boyfriend just went like that. Keep your hands where they are, please. Yes, I will, sir. I'll keep my hands where they are. Please don't tell me this, Lord. Please, Jesus, don't tell me that he's gone. Please don't tell me that he's gone. Please, officer, don't tell me that you just did this to him. You shot four bullets into him, sir. He was just getting his license and registration, sir. Get the female passenger out. And I must also stop right here. If you were that concerned that this man was going to shoot you, why didn't you just take the gun and hold it until he got his registration? It was a setup. He set him up. They need to set you up to make the scenario fit them. You call it right now with your hands up. You see your hands. Exit now. Keep them up. Keep them up. Face Where's my daughter? You got my daughter? Face away from me and walk backwards. Walk backwards towards me. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Get on your knees. Get on your knees. <laughs> And mind you, there's a child in the car. I mean, you such a punk, but you such a coward that you got to shoot the man with his baby in the car. They don't care because we got a video, I think, from the Chicago area of a cop doing the same thing, busting out the windows when the man showed him his ID. And then it wasn't enough. They had to get out of the car. They wanted him out of the car. Child screaming in the back. Right now until we get this all sorted out, okay? They threw my phone, Facebook. Please don't tell me, Lord Jesus. Please don't tell me. Okay. Please don't tell me my boyfriend. Okay. Take it off my hands. 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 Take it that's about all my all I can stand. And I'm gonna see if I can pull up the um, speech that Jesse Williams because it looks like to me there is um, a connection. with this um, Jesse Owens speech. I can see if I can pull this up real quick. Um, let's see if we can go have a little bit better luck on the uh, YouTube. And we'll play this. Um, I'll try to get you know the the short version. So this award, this is not for me. This is for the real organizers all over the country, the activists, the civil rights attorneys, the struggling parents, the families, the teachers, the students that are realizing that a system built to divide and impoverish and destroy us cannot stand if we do. All right. 
is kind of basic mathematics. The more we learn about who we are and how we got here, the more we will mobilize. Now this is also in particular for the black women, in particular who have spent their lifetimes dedicated to nurturing everyone before themselves. We can and will do better for you. Now, what we've been doing is looking at the data and we know that police somehow manage to de-escalate, disarm, and not kill white people every day. So what's gonna happen is we are gonna have equal rights and justice in our own country, or we will restructure their function and ours. And that part right there was enough to do it. You know, you niggers are gonna get away from us. You're gonna pull away from us. How dare you not wanna be a slave? How dare you not want us to harass you? How dare you want, not want us to pull you over and blow your brains out? How dare you? We don't really want you around us, but we can't live without you at the same time. So this is a sick mind of these Edomites. They're sick people. They're a, a, a race of sociopaths. They give a damn more about an animal than they do a Negro and Hispanic life. It's, pro it's a proven fact. I don't have to keep rolling tape and going on and on and on. It's been proven and documented. Since we got here on the slave boats, since the, uh, the Spanish conquest, the conquistadors. It's been butcher, slaughter, lie, butcher, slaughter, lie, get away with it. And there's a penalty for it. You haven't really gotten away with nothing. It's just really justifying the most high to wipe you off the face of the earth. And that's in Malachi chapter 1 verse 4. That's in the book of Obadiah, your extermination. So all I got to do is say, if you're a so-called white person, live it up. You better live, because your time is running out. You better live. You better go on as many killing sprees as you as you as you want. Go on off. Uh, uh, go on as many uh, 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 um, uh, uh, safaris as you want. You better. You better. I'm telling you, you better live, because it's up for you. Your time is out. You ain't gonna just keep killing Israelites and think the Most High ain't gonna answer. And I'm gonna close out with that. And I just wanted to, you know show you I believe there's a connection to this because as soon as this man said this all of a sudden all hell breaks loose and you got to understand the police are a fraternal order they're masons and they do sacrifices and if you look at certain movies they'll kill people and then it'll show you in the movies what they really do in reality so I'm going to close out with that. Like I said, I can talk about this all night, folks. But with that being said, Shalom.